I recently saw this Reddit post from City Skylines National Treasure, Teddy Radko, and it got me thinking. Do people know how to use the import export feature from Move It? And if they don't, should they really bother learning? We'll go over which is better, workshop assets or Move It exports in just a moment. But first, let's go through how to use this function of Move It. This tutorial for the Move It mods import and export feature assumes you are already subscribed to the Move It mod by Cuboid. If you're not, please go do that. It also assumes you're playing the game via Steam. We will be using mostly interchanges for this tutorial, but you can include anything that you're able to grab with Move It, except for procedural objects which do not work with the import export function. But trees, props, buildings, nodes, they all work for this. To export a selection for your own future use is extremely simple. Grab everything that you want to export with the Move It mod tool, Come down here to this arrow, the three dots, and find the export selection button and press it. Give your export a descriptive title and press export. That's it, you've done it. Your selection is now stored in the exports folder, which I'll show you more very soon. And you can now go back through the move it menu the same way with the arrow, the three dots, and find the import selection button, press import, and plop that selection down on this same map or on a completely different save file. This restore button plops the selection in the exact coordinates that it was exported from. So generally you'll use the import button when importing. So what about importing selections that were sent to you from other people? Or there's that all builds website you've heard about. For this, you need to access your City Skylines folder under app data. The way that I remember to get there is by pressing the windows key and typing percentage sign, app data percentage sign. Click enter or open and you'll be brought to your roaming folder. Navigate up one level back to app data, then go into your local folder, into Colossal Orders folder and City Skylines. This Move It Exports folder is what we're looking for. Now it won't show up here until you have loaded at least one map with the Move It mod installed. So if you don't see this folder here, go and do that. Now you'll be able to use exports that other people have provided. Just drop the XML file into this folder. Once you've done so, you'll see that selection available when you navigate to your import function via Move It inside the game. Technically, you can even do this while the game is running. Now you're a master of Move It's import and export function, but does it matter? Is it any better than using the Steam Workshop? Back in that Reddit post I was perusing, Teddy mentions the Workshop can add extra bends to segments and I have actually heard similar tales before. So let's compare a couple examples side by side. Starting with pretty flat terrain, let's place down this two level clover stack twice. This is the version from the Workshop and then going into import, this is the version version from the move it function. Looking at these, to me, they look very similar. I think both of them have some places where the landscaping can be attended to, but nothing major. Let's look closely at the workshop version where there are ramps on and off of the interchange. Everything to me personally looks pretty smooth, right? Let's get some close-ups here. This looks a little wobbly, but nothing too offensive. Going to the Move It version, same thing. All of the ramps look super smooth. I'm not offended by any of the roads I see here, but let's go to a rougher landscape. Over here, you can see I've used the landscaping tool to put quite a few bumps in the road. And this is the version from the workshop. We'll get an area that will allow us to place it. And then let's use the import function on a similarly bumpy area and I think you can see the difference right away. Here's the workshop version, <laughs> and it is a little hard not to laugh. And this, I believe, is what Teddy and others are talking about. When you don't have the perfect terrain to put down your interchange on, you get a lot of weird stuff happening. I mean, look at this. 
That's pretty wild, right? And then when you move over to the move it function, it raises the entire selection to however is required, or it raises the landscaping around it. And all you would need to do is tidy up the landscape around this version to make it more suitable. Or you can take the whole selection and you can push it down with page down on your keyboard to get it to a starting position that you want. And then again, touch up the landscaping around them. A quick side note, I do want to mention that both the workshop placement and the move it import function carry over intersection marking tool when they've been applied to what the creator has uploaded. So we've seen both versions in action. Let's get a good old fashioned pros cons list happening. Move it mod pros. It keeps intersection marking to alliance. You don't have to use the asset editor just to share an interchange with a friend. Less potential jank when placing. And you get to feel like a pro. Workshop pros. Keeps intersection marking to alliance. Dependencies are easy to install. No navigating of folders on your PC, and you're probably on the workshop anyways. Move it mod cons. You have to sign up on the All Builds website if you want to upload there specifically, and more fuss with navigating Windows folders. Workshop cons, potential jank when placing, and the dependencies being so easy to subscribe to can lead to not reading, which leads to subscribing wrong, which leads to bad. So what's the answer here? Which is better? That is for you to decide. You presumably know a little bit more now about the import export feature from Move It. I'm sure you know how to use an asset from the workshop. Which do you think is easier? Is there enough jank when using the workshop to fuss with getting XML files into place? While you're figuring that out, on screen is a video tutorial for an incredibly simple entrance interchange that you can build in vanilla, no problem. Check it out and be kind to each other, gang.